Hey, this is Daniel for Adorama. Today on set, we're going to talk about how lighting can make you look completely different. So the first time I photograph somebody, I like to study their face and see how the light will affect them. Usually I take one light and move it all around, and then also have them move their face and study it. This way I can determine how I like the light on their face. To simplify things for this video though, I set up four lights. One on camera left, one on camera right, one up above, and then one at the bottom. This is gonna give me an idea of how the light is going to shape Sharina's face. Okay, so let me show you my setup here. I've got my Nikon on a tripod, and on top I've got a Pocket Wizard Multimax. I then have four Profoto B1 lights. Like I said, one to the right, one to the left, one above, and one below. I'm gonna fire each one of these lights in sequence, and then see how the light affects her face. So let's try. Okay, so on camera right, the light is slightly below Sharina's eye line. And it's a small light uh, coming from the side, so it's gonna cast shadow probably up into her eye, which probably isn't gonna look good, but you never know, so we're gonna try it. On the left-hand side, the light is slightly above her eye line and to a 45 degree to one direction. This is typically a general good place to have the light. Above her, the light is shooting straight down. This can work really well if the light's far enough away, as it can create nice top light inside the eyes. If it's too close though, like this one is probably, it's gonna create a lot of shadow. Below her is the final light. This almost never looks good, although we're gonna play with it a little bit. This is basically under lighting. Okay, so that gives you an idea of what the light can do to the face, really make it look different. But now let's take each one of these lights and get a great shot with each one. So here on the right, the light is a little bit low and I know that we don't wanna have her look right at it because that's probably gonna create a weird shadow coming up from her nose. So what we're gonna do is have her look in the opposite direction. So if Sharina can look to her right, we'll shoot basically a profile. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so that was pretty cool. Now on the other side of her, we've got a light in a more traditional portrait setup. So what we'll do is we'll just have her look generally in that direction. That will give nice light across her entire face and also because it's a nice small source, it'll create nice shadow and add shape to the face. Okay, so for the light above her, this can be really good for a nice beauty shot. We just wanna make sure we angle her head in such a way that we're not looking too much up her nose and maybe have her take half a step back. That way we'll get a nice light across her face, really dramatic. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so for the light underneath, I cheated a little bit. There's no way that the hard light source from underneath is gonna look good on anybody unless you're going for a really, really creepy shot and we don't wanna do that with Sharina. So what I did was I added a soft box. By adding the soft box, my light source became much larger Larger light source equals softer. It wrapped around her more so the shadows aren't quite so dark. This creates kind of an interesting shot, but still stays really nice. So you can see here that light really dramatically changes the shape of the person's face in front of you. Also keep in mind what lens you use and where you stand will help affect the total look of the portrait. So thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to Adorama TV, and I'll see you next time on set. Is there something different about this video? Well, Dave's not here. Oh. Yeah.